Yeezy Day 2. After all of the assumptions and all of the rumours, Yeezy Day 2 was finally announced about a month ago to be on the 2nd of August 2023. And although it was expected, it wasn't quite what we expected. After Yeezy Day 1, it was pretty much common knowledge that a number of pairs were still remaining in the inventory and were due to be released. A number of assumptions and several mock images were generated of what people thought would release on Yeezy Day 2. And finally, it came. I do have a number of pairs that I managed to get on that drop that I will be unboxing. I've got several boxes around me that you can't see and I'll be doing them in no particular order. Before we do get into the video, make sure you like this video, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel as it helps me to continue making great sneaker content for you guys. Make sure you also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at MrMorrow underscore underscore where I am posting shorts daily so that you can get some of the necessary information that you need before you purchase your pairs. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. First pair that I will be unboxing will be the Yeezy Foam Runner in the Carbon colorway so i actually picked up this pair for my girlfriend and so i got it in a uk size 5 so unfortunately i won't be able to do an unboxing for you guys but essentially it is very similar to the honest colorway that i actually picked up previously here's a side by side of the honest colorway that i picked up last year with the carbon colorway essentially it's a dark colored Yeezy Foam Runner. The Yeezy Foam Runner is definitely one of my most worn models and it's always a pair that I pack when I'm going on holiday, especially when I'm going to the airport as it's easy to kick on and kick off when I'm on the plane or going through customs. And when I'm in hot countries, it does let the air get to my feet. I picked this up for £80, which is a little bit more expensive than I remember. I do think last year they were going for £75. They did also release this in the sand or the ochre colorway. However, I wasn't able to get my hands on those. The Yeezy Slide in the bone colorway. Right after the foam runner, the next pair that I always pack on holiday is my pair of Yeezy slides. Probably the worst drop of Yeezy day. The app crashed several times, I lost connectivity, I wasn't able to get my payments through. In fact, when I actually put the payment through, it showed a bad gateway error, so I was actually surprised when I managed to pick these up. I did pick this up in a size 12, and I do generally recommend that you go two sizes above your true to size when you are picking up a pair of slides. However, I did notice that it is slightly bigger than some of the previous releases, and so I probably recommend going a size up, but the best thing to do would really be to go down to your local consignment store and try these on before you're buying. But this is the bone runner, it comes in your standard the box and I did pick this up for £60. The next pair that I did pick up was the Yeezy 450 in the stone grey colourway. I would definitely say that this is probably one of the less sought after models of the drop. It sits colour wise somewhere in between the cloud white colourway and the cinder colourway that I already own and as it is a grey colourway I can't help but like this pair. We do see a slightly darker grey on the sole. We do have a lighter grey for that knitted sock like upper with a slightly darker grey portion towards the heel. Of course we have that polarising outsole which is a little bit more durable and it's finished off with a set of infinity laces in terms of sizing i'll recommend going half a size up from your yeezy 350 size you could potentially go a full size up if you like a little bit more space in the toe box area i do love wearing this pair to the gym as it doesn't feature boost it is not as soft as maybe the yeezy 350 or some of the other models it is a lot more durable and because of that reason i feel it gives you a bit more support if you are wearing it to the gym of course it does come in your standard box and it retailed for 175 pounds the next pair that I picked up was the Yeezy 700 V3 in the Copper Fade colorway. Again, another one of those models that probably wasn't as sought after as the slides and as the foam runners. This pair did come in your standard box as it is another restock and it retailed for £175. I've always liked how athletic this shoe looks. I like the black that we have on the outsole that provides grip with that green. It does come up towards the midsole. We have that same green towards the front that has this rubber that covers the toe box area. I like the way the orange comes through on the side underneath the mesh and underneath that clear plastic that clear rubber that forms a cage we do have this wine color on the tongue that also is on the inside as well and it's finished off with a set of black infinity laces similarly with some of the other pairs i would recommend that you go at least half a size above your yeezy 350 size for this pair it is a very comfortable pair on foot it doesn't quite sit how i would like it but definitely another great pair to add to the collection last but not least i picked up the yeezy quantum in the miss lake colorway i feel like the yeezy quantum model is a very underrated model definitely one that i've avoided because of the price tag 
but one nonetheless that I think is a great pair to add to your collection. Of course, there's another restock. It comes in your standard box and it did retail for £220. So definitely one of the more expensive pairs, the first part of this Yeezy Day drop. It does come with this multicolored sole. We do have white and cream on the sole. We have the stitching on the side, joint with some mesh and a pattern that does come through underneath. We have long hair suede towards the front in that cream color, neoprene around the heel in white, a rubber portion towards the back in silver and cream and we do have a black neoprene tongue that's finished off with a set of normal black laces. My favorite part of the shoe however is the cream and red that we do see on the outsole. Although it's not visible when you're wearing the shoe, it would have been great if they used that red throughout the shoe in some way but I understand it's a mislay colorway. They could potentially use that for an MX colorway. In terms of sizing I recommend you go half a size above your Yeezy 350 size which for me is a full size above my true to size. And that's pretty much it for Yeezy Day 2. We are coming towards the end of Yeezy Day 2 part two and so I will be dropping a video when I do get the pairs in from that drop. Thank you once again for joining me for another video. Remember to like, share and subscribe. There'll be many more videos coming to this channel soon. Follow me also on Instagram and TikTok so you can see the shorts so that you know essential information that you need to know before purchasing some of these pairs. Stay tuned for more videos. Take it easy. Peace.